What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Aisha and I do fashion hauls and lifestyle related videos. Adding to that category now is the new parent life videos. I am a first time mom to now a three month old, which is crazy because he's growing up so fast. But I wanted to share with you guys all of the baby essentials that I used from the zero to three month mark. And with that being said, let's get into it. Also, before we jump into the video, I just want to say that these essentials, essentials are not really like some things that you need, they just made my life a lot easier. Honestly, all that your baby needs in the first three months and continuing on with their life is just love, food, and you. And if you provide them that, they will be a very happy, healthy baby. Um, but let's get into what has made my life easier with a newborn. So I've broken down this list into six categories and I've categorized these items based on where they fit in the list. So the first thing that we're gonna start off with are the big items that I found were really helpful to me. First on the list is a car seat and a stroller. So we have the Nuna Pippa car seat as well as a Nuna Trip stroller and it has made our lives going outside so much easier. My favorite thing about the car seat and stroller combination is how lightweight it is and how like compact it is and how easy it is to take it outside. That was one of our major things when we were looking at strollers. We wanted something that was really easy, not hectic to use and I find that the Nuna Duo really just like works well. I can use it alone and that was like a huge plus point for me. It's not heavy, it's really compact. I highly recommend it. Um, that's the first thing on the list. Next up on the list is a bassinet. So we are currently room sharing with our son and we use the Halo bassinet. I find the Halo bassinet to be a great bassinet. It's beside my side of the bed and the swivel is perfect. There's also a feature in it where you can click it and the bassinet kind of like comes down a little bit so it makes it easier to pick up the baby. The click down feature was especially helpful when I was recovering from my C-section. It just helped me pick up my son with more ease without putting more pressure on my abdominal muscles. Up next on the list that Yusuf uses pretty much every day is a play gym. So we have the Love Every play gym and it is by far my favorite play gym. I love the aesthetics of it. It's not too busy and I feel like it is just a perfect play gym for the little ones. He's in it pretty much every day and we have contrast cards up on the little hooks that he can look at and he's just very fascinated by it. Next up on the big item list is the Central Me Organic Lounger or just any lounger in general. I found that this was a great thing to have when Yusuf was literally a newborn couple of weeks old because I could just take the lounger anywhere in the house and put him in it without having to worry where he was lying down on. The one complaint or eh I have with the Snuggle Me lounger is the raised sides. So the lounger is raised on the sides and it has a little indent where the baby sleeps in. But unfortunately, Yusuf would think that the sides that were raised were me. And so I would find him waking up a little bit and start rooting because he thought it was me and he wanted to eat. If I could go back and make this purchase again, I definitely would not buy the snuggle me one just because it is pretty expensive and Yusuf was in it for maybe like a month and a half and then he outgrew it I would definitely get another lounger that is more um, I think like more flat rather than raised I'm gonna do a little speed run with the other big items that I thought were helpful to me so we have a bouncer we have the baby Bjorn bouncer and Yusuf started using it when he was about two months old because he finally fit into it we love it he we pretty much take it everywhere and it's great to have I would recommend getting a diaper pail we have the ubi diaper pail and we love it because you don't necessarily need the diaper genie bags for it. We use our normal garbage bags for it and we find that it really helps us out. A diaper bag for going out. I would recommend getting a baby carrier. So I had two carriers. I had the sling wrap one that was like the big cloth. And then I also have one that's more structured. The cloth sling one was great for when Yusuf was a newborn because he really wanted to be close to me at all times. And it allowed me more mobility and more like independence. I didn't have to carry him at all times. I could just sling him on and go and do my things around the house. Now he really prefers the one that's more structured. Both of the ones that I have are from Ergo Baby and I will make sure to link them down below. And the last big things on the list are a baby monitor and a white noise machine. For the monitor, we have one placed right there and we can just watch Yusuf take his naps. And then for the white noise machine, we have a portable one which attaches to his car seat. And then around the house, we pretty much have the mini Googles everywhere. And so we just ask Google to play rain sounds and it works out really well. Those are pretty much all the big items that I used on an everyday basis. Next up on the list are newborn clothing. So first thing on the list, which I would recommend any new parent to get are those double zipper onesies. These are so much better than the snap onesies. The zipper ones are so easy. And I also find that they're a lot more breathable for the baby. If you're gonna get one thing out of this video, just get zipper onesies because they are fantastic. Hats are great to have to make sure your newborn stays warm. Yusuf is not a fan of hats anymore, but he wore a lot of them when he was a lot younger. Socks as well, and bibs. I would also recommend getting a swaddle or a blanket. Swaddles have literally saved our lives. We love them so much, and Yusuf loves being swaddled, so it just works out really well for us. Blankets are great as well. We have a couple of them here and there. We never put it in the crib with him ever, um, but we have it so that he can have it on him when we're in the car or anything. 
Um, we always just put a blanket on him when we can supervise him. We never leave him alone with it because it's just not safe sleeping. The next couple of items on the list I have categorized into a feeding category because that's just where it makes sense. The first thing on the list is more of a mom essential than it is a newborn essential, but I would say having a good breast pump is key. I have the Philips Avon portable breast pump and I find that it is great because I don't have to be plugged up and hooked up to a wall at all times. It gives me the mobility and it really helps me mentally. I would highly recommend getting a nursing pillow. I have the Boppy and I found that it was great for nursing Yusuf, especially when I was recovering from my C-section. I found that it was really hard to have Yusuf right on my abs just because of everything that had happened and so I found that the nursing pillow really gave me support and I could put Yusuf right over here and it was like really helpful. I don't find myself using it now as often as I did before but I will say that it is a great back pillow. Again another mom essential but lanolin is great for dry chapped nipples especially if they're cracked. Lanolin helps a lot. It's also a great chapstick. Up next on the list is a nursing cover. I'm not quite comfortable with nursing in public yet and so I found that the nursing cover really helped me with that. Okay, the next couple of things that I'm going to talk about are all from the Philips Avon line. This video is not sponsored by them even though I wish it was. It's not. I just really love their line. I would recommend getting bottles and we have the glass bottles from the Avon line. A sterilizer is also important and we have the Philips Avon one. I really love the sterilizer we have because it also dries the things for us. I find that it's like a mini dishwasher for babies because it like does the entire cycle and I don't have to wait around for things to dry. Having a great bottle warmer is also something that's really important and we again have the Philips Avent one. Last couple of things on the feeding list is having breast milk storage bags if you choose to pump. I have ones that I got from Amazon and they're great. And I would highly recommend getting the Hakka. I absolutely love the Hakka and I would recommend getting one that has the lid on it because there have been times where mine has spilled over and milk is just everywhere and it's really upsetting. So I would recommend getting one that has the lid on it and honestly it is life changing. I find that I can stick it on one boob while Yusuf is feeding on the other and I catch about 40 mils or 50 mils which is great to top him off after and it's just something I highly recommend. The next category we have are bath time essentials. We use a skip hop bathtub and we love it. It has like a little mesh sling and it grows as they grow and I find that the mesh sling is really comfortable for him to sit in. Having one of those water jugs is really great because it allows for a smooth, slow water flow. We also love using hooded towels. It just keeps him warm after bath time. As for baby wash and shampoo, we love the CeraVe baby line. It's just really clean and no harmful additives and we really love that. And lastly, I would recommend getting a cradle cap brush. I believe Freedom Mom has one and it does wonders for when your baby starts getting cradle cap. It's just really smooth and soft and you can brush it all the way through. The next category that I'm going to talk about is the hygiene category. Obviously, we're going to start off with diapers. Nail trimmers are great and we use the electric nail filer. We found that this was really nice because we weren't worried about hurting his little fingers, especially because they were so soft and dainty and we didn't want to hurt them. It was great to have. Diaper rash creams for those stubborn rashes and something that I really, really like is this little gadget right over here. So this is called the Bumco. I got it off of Amazon and it's really nice because you don't have to get your fingers dirty with the diaper rash cream. You simply just put this in and then like apply it on their butts and it's just it saves you so much messiness it also comes in a smaller version and i've kept that in his diaper bag for on the go needs but i would highly recommend this especially if you don't want diaper rash cream stuck in your nails i would recommend getting a changing mat we have the skip hop one and we really like how foamy it is it's really nice and soft and it's not cold to the touch and lastly having a wipes dispenser so i have the one we use right over here this is the oxo wipes dispenser what i love about this is you can see exactly how many wipes are left and the one major thing that i really like about this is that it has a weighted top um, which makes sure all the wipes are still in there and you only get one at a time with each pull i take out one wipe which ensures that i'm not wasting wipes the last category that i have for you guys is the organization category so I would say having drawer organizers is really essential. I got mine in a pack of seven from Ikea and it just makes everything a lot cleaner to put away and everything has its own space. Mini felt hangers for those nice clothes that can't be folded. Um, I got mine off of Amazon and I love that they're felt because it makes sure that their tiny clothes don't fall off. Having sorting tags really helps when organizing their closets because you can sort it based on what months the clothes are. So I have them from newborn all the way up to I believe a year old and they are sorted by three to six months, six to nine, 9 to 12 and so on and so forth and lastly having a storage bin for their old clothes because they grow out of it really fast Yusuf is now three months so I had to put away all of his newborn clothes to make more space for his three months clothes and what I did is I just folded all of his newborn clothes and I put it in a ziplock and put it in a storage bin labeled newborn something that's completely separate from these categories is actually an app that we use and it is called Huckleberry I would very highly recommend getting an app that tracks everything that your baby's doing because it makes life so much easier we use this app religiously when Yusuf was born we logged literally everything now we only really log his sleep to see where 
where he's at and like feeding sessions here and there but this app is great it lets you log his sleep feeding diapers um pumping it literally lets you log everything and you and your partner can make a shared account which is great because then Faison can start it and I can end it and vice versa and I wanted to end this video off by putting in a don't buy section so the only one thing I have in this don't buy section are mittens I have so many of these tiny mittens and Yusuf did not wear any of them. I found that these mittens honestly were not helpful at all. Um, they kept falling off of his hands, he didn't like them that much, and they just, did, they just did not do the job they said that they would do. What I would recommend instead is finding newborn onesies that have the folds on top and it just makes, again, life so much easier because you just cuff their hands and they don't scratch themselves. It's not an extra added thing that you need to carry around and they're comfy as well. But yeah, that basically sums up all of the essentials I used from zero to three months and I hope this was helpful. I have a list in front of me and honestly I'm like reading it and I feel like it's so much but these are things that I use pretty much every day and it's something that I swear by. I think moving forward I'll definitely start doing an essentials video for like three to six months, six to nine months just because they're just constantly changing and I feel like their needs and items will change as well so I'll make sure to do that. But I hope this was helpful to you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Subscribe for more content and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!